Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support that, you know, the good vibes that I send you, you return it back to me, which I'm grateful grateful for so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also, if you feel like the video is just giving you good vibes or you know that there's an impact that truly needs to hear the word right now, please go ahead and share. And also give me a thumbs up and also share on your, you know, social media favorites wherever you see fit. So thank you once again for stopping by my channel and I hope you're, and, and giving me support and I hope you're able to resonate with content in my video. Um, this meditation is very powerful i feel it like vibrating from the top of my head to my feet that's why i'm like rocking back and forth it feels weird i got chills um it's called music uh rejuvenate while you're asleep cell anti-aging and i will post that link in the description box below and um today my video is about twin flame 101 you have the right to to live in peace and happiness we do you know there are sometimes we have gone through so many trying trials and tri tribulations we cut ourselves short from happiness i didn't realize that i've done that too it's just like when things come into our lives if you know you've been in a dark place for so long and good things come their way or people are just being nice to you without any hidden agenda because there's so many of us have been through so many trying times that we put this wall up that we do not want anybody in because we're scared of being hurt we're scared of rejection we're scared of being judged and all those things but it's like that's not what we were placed here to be able to do you know even though we went through things like this you have to you know it's hard to actually do that you know but actually look you know step back and look you know that's what Hayokas do we always have people look at their situations like step back when you can get out of your emotions on what you've been through and I have to do that at times like if I'm not in my feelings about stuff I have to either you know meditate on it or just be quiet and just really sit there and reflect on you know what it's not meant for me to sit up here and be sulking about things that I can't change you know you can't change other people but you can try to put a different perspective in people's lives if that's what it's supposed to be called for because sometimes we have people with this in our lives you know like I've, I've did videos you've been with me for a while you know I've done videos that um we have people in our lives certain people alive in our lives you know we're probably the tree you got to figure out who's the branch who's the root and who's the leaf so you have to be able to look at those things and knowing that all those things that we have attached to that tree is where that source that they're brought to us, even though if they hurt us, we have still had to learn from them. And it's not for us to be able to put like a block up. It's just when you go through certain situations, like I tell people, never sit up here and say that you hated the fact that you have met this person or you wish that person away. You should always look at it because um, certain, oh, sorry y'all, that my cat back here, you know, relaxing on my big pillow, sleeping. Um, when, when people have come into our lives that really have hurt us in, you know, trying ways or it, very traumatizing ways, we have always learned from them. You know, whether or not it's the good or the bad, you know, people are brought into our lives for us to learn things off of. If you have been in a trying situation, you can't sit up here and say, I wish I never had this person in my life. Because if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be able to know what to look for when the next person comes and tries to do that to you. And you're like, oh, you know, because it's just like it's not for you to be able to reminisce on the past and keep, you know, putting yourself on that boat of past hurt you know because i have a bad habit of doing that myself so that's the reason why i love making videos like this because on the situations i put myself in i'm learning from my mistakes and you know nobody's perfect and it's just like you know some people will put this you know this thing up like they never have a bad day or you know 
things don't happen. You know, some people are like that. Or it's just the fact is they're not like that, but they just don't want you to see that side of me. There's times I allow y'all to see that side of me. Now, I know if it's going to put me in a dark, dark place where I'm like ticked off and ready to just snap, crack on top on somebody. Oh, heck no, I'm not going to make a video because I know how powerful that energy is. I'm not going to reflect that on somebody else. You know, I've done it before, even when, you know, I've gotten to you know, close friends, and I had to turn around and apologize for that, and they were like, oh, no, Rosalind, it, it was meant for you to vent, but I'm like, no, you know, if you're dealing with certain situations, like, where somebody's always unloading on you, I don't want to be doing the same thing, I want to be something totally opposite of, you know, something positive that's coming into your life, but it's good to be able to vent with somebody, if you have somebody in your life that you're able to talk to, that you can trust with your, you know, the issues that you go through, um, you're trying times without judgment or, you know, backstabbing and stuff like that. That is a really good thing to have. You know, I have a few friends that I'm able to tell things to. You know, I'm very closed off, but I'm, it's not because the fact is I've uh, got trust issues. It's just, you know, I don't need that many people in my life like that. You know, I said I, I'm just like a empath social worker. You know, I'm y'all's Rolodex. So I'm saying, oh, okay, this is what we're going through, and this is what you are, and this is the reason why you went through this, because you were, you're this type of person. That's good, but it's just like, for me, having a whole bunch of handful of friends, I'm like, I'm an introvert. I don't need all that. <laughs> I, You know, I got people in my life, I said, you know, because, you know, my kids are like, mom, you don't have nobody stop by the house. I said, that's for a good reason. I said, if you ever notice that a lot of my friends that I talk to is in different states, I either video chat with them text with them during the day or you know I talk to them on the phone but other than that you know I just don't need all these different people in my life if it's, if it's meant for me to have other people in my life like that it'll happen but other than that my life has been a lot more peaceful since I've done that but I know I deserve that peace of mind that happiness that you know that is trying to come into my life like I tell y'all we all deserve happiness no matter how bad life may seem right now, you deserve to be happy, you know, you shouldn't dwell on all the things that has happened, you know, if there are certain situations like your own addiction, that you're still trying to fight that monkey off your back, it's understandable, you know, I've, I was there, you know, there's times that, you know, I've been tested to where I was just like, dang, I'm ready to roll up a blunt real quick, or I just don't want to deal with it, let me just smoke this, I'm going to be F them daggone things, whatever, this and this and that, but then I had to face it like, you know, why are you going to go back to that situation for when you worked so hard to get yourself out of it, I mean, y'all, I, I mean, I even woke up in tears, you know, because I have dreamt about smoking weed in my dreams and really felt like I was smoking weed when I got up because I was so high and cried, and I'm like, hold up. Girl, you didn't even smoke, so what you doing? <laughs> but, I mean, that's how bad it is, y'all. I've really got to that point. But then I know, you know, my, my addiction had served its purpose for what I was going through. Because that, you know, like I've read before, there's not a lot of people that has had, had to go through a situation like this and actually lived to tell it. Didn't hurt nobody or didn't inflict pain on themselves. Permanent pain. Like, they're, they're no longer living. Because there's a lot of things that I've been through that a lot of people, I'm not saying that, you know, my, my thing is important or mine is a lot more different than, you know, traumatic is yours, but it's just like a situation like this is like a really messed up situation. Like, I feel like if somebody else was probably put in this situation, which I always hope and never, I, I, I hope and pray that never happens to anybody because I don't wish that on my worst enemy. The next person I can say that probably went through that, they'll probably end up hurting the people that did that to them or they hurt themselves, you know, go straight postal. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a blessing that I'm able to go through the things that I've gone through and be able to tell y'all, yeah, this is what I went through. But, you know, there's always times that, you know, I can say for myself, I've been through a lot of heartache and sorrow, even though our broken heart from being separated from your biological family is a mighty price to pay. But I never know what's going to happen in the future. You never know. You know, I might be reunited with my family or, you know, it might be in the next life. I never know. But all I know is I'm worrying about now and don't have to worry about now, but I'm working on the now. Be able to know that I can bring people peace and joy I can be able to lead people that way to know that you know don't allow your fears and you know your situation your current situation 
you know, get locked in your brain that things won't change. You won't get out of this. Yes, you will. You have to be able to work on it. You know, you can pray to the universe and whoever you, you worship to that you want to get out of your situation, but you can't put yourself in a situation that you're trying to push yourself away from. You can't pray, oh, you know, keep the people out that's doing me bad or using me, but you keep going back to the people that has you know place that upon you you be able to make peace with them you know leave them away with love and that's why i have to keep telling myself you know even though you know them folks up the street be reaching you know i just gotta leave them alone i said if they're you know i hope and pray that that my family can heal from the things that they placed upon me as well as themselves and go about my business what you know and then just leave it there and let you know nature take its course now that's why i have to really look at it as but knowing I deserve peace in my heart as well as my mind. I deserve happiness. Um, I don't feel like I'm anybody's judge and jury because I used to be that way. I, I wanted to flick, afflict plain, pain upon folks that has hurt me in the worst kind of way. But I said, you know, that makes me no better than them. So it's just like now after talking to, to so many people about letting things go, I mean, they're right. You know, they might not have picked the best. Everybody didn't. You know, they all, everybody told me in their own way, but there are some people that came at me a harsh way, like, you know, I'm like, hold up, you've never been in a situation like this, so how are you going to tell me, you know, but I know everybody meant, you know, it was coming from a good place, and some people, they were just kind of, you know, eh, whatever, <laughs> but... It, it, you know, it, everything happens for a reason, because if people are saying that, singing the same tune, but just different verses, but saying the same thing, you know, it's time for me to look at myself like, why are you holding on to this? It's not helping you. It's not, you know, making you, you know, it's not putting growth in your life. You're stunning your growth by holding on to these things. You need peace in your life. You need that happiness that God and universe is so feeling like you know what you have done these things for so many people let let us allow you to be happy and you know i have to keep telling myself don't resist it you know let things go with the flow don't worry about all the things that you know has just been placed in your life things has happened for a reason but there's no you know there's no reason for you to keep on dwelling on those things you know i got to certain people that that has really put harm on me out my life you know and I don't need to deal with that no more. It's just like, I'm not going to allow these folks to keep having power over me. And you should do the same thing. Whoever is afflicted pain on you or whatever, you need to find yourself to a way to get out. Don't sit up here and dwell on the things you cannot change. You can change your way of percepting about it. If that, that memory comes up, don't allow it to get, don't give it any kind of attention or power. Just allow that to be released. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I hope y'all had a blessed, lovely week. And it's like one more day until the weekend, the freaking weekend, baby. So I hope y'all have a blessed week, rest of your week. Uh, much love to Michael Groves, uh, Louis Johnston, and Mike, Michelle Olsen, uh, Olsen, and Lisa Johnson as well. Much love to you. Many blessings. Peace, love, and light. And like and subscribe, thumbs up, hit the notification bell, drop me a line, let me know how you feel about this video or your, you know, your input on it. And I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.